Welcome to the introductory session of image processing in MATLAB. This session comprises how to import and read an image in MATLAB's workspace and then we learn how to display the two images in the same form. First we have to start the MATLAB. To import any image or data file into MATLAB, we have to give the path in the current directory of MATLAB. This current directory is displayed on the toolbar of image. Initially, when we start the MATLAB, the folder where we save our MATLAB file is displayed in the current directory. Here it displays the work folder. Select the browse button in the toolbar. and select the folder from where we have to import an image file. And then click OK. Then click the current directory in the workspace. Here all the images get successfully imported. Since we save the images in my document, here the all this image, images. For clearing the screen, we write CLC command in command window. Now our task is to perform the image processing. We have to read the images by assigning them and variable. Here for example, we type A. In this session we work on the two functions, first is I am read, second is I am show. And to display the images we using the function is called as subplot. Type the commands as it is displayed on the screen. The image file that we have to load it is uh, in the inverted comma. Type the name as is displayed in the current directory and assign the format. Blue Hills JPG. This variable get into the workspace. Here it display A, whose value is ranging from 600 to 800 to 3 unit 8 and its class belongs to unit 8. Now we read the, another image, B equals to M read, back it and let it come. Here we have to write the uh, second image name. Let's select the winter. Winter.jpg and enter. Previously there is no variable b, but when we assign the read function, then the variable b get into the workspace. To display the single image, we have to use the imshow function. Type the imshow bracket A. Then it displayed the first image. If we want if we want to display the images within uh, title, then we have to type I am show bracket may your far your data images name and after that you have to uh, using the function title. In the title function, we assign the name for our picture. Type the command with the Samsung text as it display on the screen. 
Thus we get the images with a title. Now we learn how to display the two images in the same form. Since we already read the two images in the two variables a and b, thus we have to just perform the image processing by using a and b variables. First we learn how the subplot work. Type subplot bracket 1, comma 2, comma 1 and comma close and what it comma and pressing enter. It partition the form in two section. Since we don't select any variable, there is no images at all. That's very interesting. Now we plot all the two images in the same form. For this, the type command in the first subplot we type our first variable primary and variable a don't press enter till we type all this command because when we type the enter it display this initial image since we are using the command window not working in GUI therefore we pressing the enter when we type all those commands you will learn very easily if you do it yourself type the commands as a uh, it display here then you are performing a lot of functions and image processing For ease of operation you may type the command in the notepad and then copy it in the work space. Here we already typed the command. Since we gave the title first image and second image in the code, thus all the two images get displayed in the same form as first and second image. Thus we learn to import the image file into the MATLAB and the four basic functions of the image processing the first one is the I am read function second is I am show function to display the images the title function to assign the name to your images and the subplot function the subplot functions is used to display the gray scale and the RGB color if you want to display in the same form Have a good day.